January 2nd and July 5th are the two biggest days of the year dogs and cats end up in shelters. According to Maricopa County Animal Care and Control, those two days have something in common too, coming right after two major holidays that involve fireworks. The noise from celebratory firecrackers and fireworks can scare happy pets into stray pets. Team 12's William Pitts has some ways you can keep your dog or cat safe during the holiday festivities. How can you resist these furry faces? For pet owners, they're our best friends, members of the family. But sadly, a night filled with firecracker pops and bangs can scare pets into the streets where they could be lost forever. When those fireworks are occurring, we hear things one level and our animals will hear things on a much higher level. Jose Santiago with Maricopa County Animal Care and Control offers these tips to keep your pets safe. First, keep pets inside and away from windows. Some pets have been known to jump through glass when they're scared. Number two, avoid leaving pets in the yard so they can't leap over fences or dig their way out. And three, get your pet microchipped and licensed. While our officers are out and about and they're picking up these stray animals, if they spot a license on that animal or a microchip or the combination of, that animal will get a free ride home. Our officers will literally use their computers in the trucks, locate the owner, give that owner a call and drive the animal straight home. And if your pet ends up in the shelter, don't hesitate to search for them. The county has an interactive map on their website that shows the pet's picture and where they were found. But shelters only have to hold the pet for 72 hours before they're put up for adoption. Start walking through the community shelters. Go over to any of the shelters in your area and literally walk up and down the aisle. You never know where your animal may have turned up. That was William Pitts reporting. If you don't just like looking at video of cute animals and you want to see them in person and help them through the night, that is something you can do on New Year's Eve. The county shelter is looking for volunteers to come by from 11 p.m. to 1230 a.m. to help keep animals calm and distracted from all those nearby noises.